What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're going over ratchet straps, how I store them, and just how I organize them. Some people call me the king of organization, but you know, I don't claim that at all whatsoever. So 99.4% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please consider clicking that subscribe button and stay tuned to see how I get it done. <laughs> Alright guys, so you usually always come out to a ratchet strap pile uh, when you're trying to tie down anything, you come out to a pile that's just a tangled mess. So the first thing that I always do is take the time to put things back when you're done with a project. If you're done hauling something, um, just take a couple minutes and wind your stuff back up. So traditionally, I don't have any tricks to it. I literally just uh, fold these in whatever manner they, they go in. Um, I usually extend the end all the way through the turnbuckle to where it's at its longest and then literally just double it back on itself and wind it around. So that you can easily just take these ratchet straps and you can um, plop them down in a tote. So I either do a tote or a bag. Um, I really don't have any method to my madness, but when you have a nice tight compact uh, thing like this, you can easily just drop it off and it's ready to rock and roll. So just take the time to roll up your ratchet straps in the end. So. First things first, I'm going to show you one of the uh, one of the I'm going to show you the car trailer box that I've made. The car trailer box comes with all of my lassos for uh, for my tires, so I have them coiled up here. You literally just uh, just throw them out, and then you can use your lassos. However, and then boom, now I have my ratchets ready to rock and roll. So this stays on the car trailer box. Um, it, it literally just goes in the, the, uh, the toolbox on the trailer and I don't have to worry about it. If I'm going somewhere else and I want to put this um, in another uh, car, boom, guess what? I have it right here in the tote. It's ready to rock and roll anywhere I want to go. So in comes my third example. Uh, this is all my recovery straps. So use the wife's 31 bag okay so it doesn't have to be awesome to be uh, to uh, work it just literally has to work so I have all my recovery straps and everything in one bag I can easily this is a bag that hey if I want to take out a couple of them I can smush this down and I can put this underneath the back seat of a truck I can put this behind the seat uh, in the Land Rover I've got tons of different options when it comes to uh, this go bag. So I've got all of my straps in here, all in one easy to carry thing. I just pile them up in the corner. Usually something like this just sits on top of them. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Is it crazy organized? Is it any kind of awesome trick? No, it, it literally just has to make sense. I compartmentalize everything that for that task in one bag, for that task in another box or whatever it might be. I also have a small tote like this for all the small straps that I showed in the beginning of the video. I'll wrap those up and I'll literally place them in the uh, box that they go in and we're ready to go. So if I need small straps, I grab that. If I need the trailer uh, straps, it's always on the trailer. I don't have to worry about it. This is usually always in the shop. If I have something to do or I'm going somewhere where I need to recover, guess what? I just grab the bag and go. It's literally that easy. You know, just throw this in the back of the Land Rover, ready to rock and roll, throw it in the bed of the truck. Um, it keeps it up out of the dirt. It keeps you from um, ruining a lot of these straps and it keeps them organized all in one. So that's what I have to say about ratcheting straps, um, toe straps, stuff in general, how to keep them organized. Um, there's no method to the madness. Uh, you know, just throw them in a the bag, compartmentalize them, wrap them up neat, and that's it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep it simple, stupid. Uh, it's literally that easy. Um, I just like to compartmentalize everything. Everything has a purpose and a place, and it's placed in that place when it is uh, 
done being used and then it's always there for you to pick it back up so it, I don't have ratchet straps that don't do other I don't have the little ratchet straps with the big ratchet straps I don't have the car tie downs with the little guys that you strap up or you know I'm not throwing bungee cords in there with my big 5,000 pound uh, toe, you know uh, toe straps and stuff like that so I keep it compartmentalized and very simple so I hope this helps you guys maybe it gives you a couple ideas um, I would like to eventually maybe do them in all nice big plastic totes but I just haven't got around to it it's low on my priority list so I hope you guys enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down <laughs> whatever you're into and we'll see you guys in the next video